Hello everyone, today I will show you how to unite two partitions from one hard drive back to just being one volume. Um, this will not work if you're trying to unite the space of two separate hard drives into one. It has to be two separate partitions that are from one hard drive and you're trying to unite them back together. The way that you will do this is that we need to do it through the drive management screen or the drive management controls. So to open that up, click on the home key. As you can see from the on-screen keyboard is the key right next to the alt key. So you're gonna click on the home key and R, as in Robert, and that will open the run taskbar. And here you will type disk mgmt.msc. You could copy it from the description as well, just in case you don't wanna type. Click OK. and this opened up the disk management controls. So as you could see before, what I was trying to explain, you could only unite back spaces that are in one same hard drive. You cannot unite two, two separate disk drives. Um, so if that was the idea that you wanted to do, you cannot do that. But if you have a specific space on your hard drive, that you want to unite back to the main one either because you partitioned it incorrectly and it was too much or too little space or because you're just doing away with it and you just want to have your whole space together this is the way to do it so the space i'm going to be deleting and reuniting with the c drive is here the new volume q and it has 4.8 gigabytes so the first thing you need to do is delete the volume so the way you would do this is clicking over it so you're gonna right click which opens up the menu and you're gonna delete volume deleting this volume will erase all data on it are you sure yes I'm sure so it still has not united the space as you can see right now it shows that 4.88 gigabytes of space is as is right now is an allocated space the way you will unite these two you would bring your pointer over the C drive and you're going to right click over it. Now we're going to select extend volume. This will open a whole wizard process just to do this. We're going to click next. So I recommend not clicking too much in this space. Um, earlier I tried doing this and it actually created some error and it crashed the disk management and I had to relaunch everything. So let's just click next because it already has it automatically selected the space that you want to delete. And then we'll click finish. So within seconds you can see that the C drive just took over whatever space of an allocated space was right next to it. So right now all the space is under the C drive. I hope this is what you were looking to do. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them, so just let me know. Ciao.